Imagine starting a business with no prior experience or knowledge in the industry. This is exactly what Phil Knight did when he founded Nike. Through his book, Shoe Dog, we get a glimpse into the mind of this genius entrepreneur and the roller coaster ride he went through to build up his company. As you follow the beginnings and rise of this footwear empire, you'll see how Phil Knight's daring spirit and willingness to take risks helped him achieve success. Despite fumbling his way through the running shoe business, Knight reached out to business people worldwide to learn and grow his company. Through this video, you'll learn how Knight led a team of creative misfits, faced major lawsuits, and handled a scandal, all while building one of the most powerful brands in the world. You'll also discover interesting facts such as why the name Nike is perfect for running shoes, how a new type of glue helps factory workers avoid cancer, and why an Olympic coach experimented with fish skin shoes. Phil Knight's story is an inspiration to anyone who wants to start a business, showing that with perseverance and a willingness to take risks, anything is possible. Chapter 1. Nike's path to success is a testament to the power of pursuing one's passion and taking risks. Phil Knight's idea to import Japanese running shoes to America was initially met with skepticism, but he persisted and eventually secured a deal with Onitsuka. Moreover, Phil Knight's travels around the world proved to be a crucial source of inspiration that would shape Nike's brand and identity. His fascination with the Greek Acropolis and the Temple of Nike ultimately led to the company's iconic swoosh logo and name. This story highlights the importance of embracing creativity, pursuing bold ideas, and being open to new experiences and perspectives. It also illustrates the value of perseverance and taking calculated risks to achieve success. Aspiring entrepreneurs can learn from Nike's journey and apply these lessons to their own pursuits. By staying true to their vision, seeking inspiration from diverse sources, and taking calculated risks, they can achieve great success and make a positive impact on the world. Chapter 2. The story of Phil Knight's partnership with his former running coach, Bill Bowerman, sheds light on the importance of collaboration, experimentation, and innovation in entrepreneurship. Bill's obsession with making shoes as light as possible was a crucial factor in the early success of Blue Ribbon, which later became Nike. By modifying the early Tiger shoes they received and putting Blue Ribbon in play, Bill helped give the brand more exposure and credibility. Moreover, Bill's coaching career, which included training future Olympians, provided an ideal platform for showcasing the performance-tested shoes he helped create. This partnership between Bill and Phil highlights the value of having a trusted advisor or mentor, whose support and expertise can help to drive success. The story also underscores the importance of innovation and experimentation in developing new products. Bill's willingness to tear apart shoes and use unconventional materials to make them lighter demonstrates the importance of thinking outside the box and taking calculated risks. Overall, the partnership between Phil and Bill exemplifies the power of collaboration, innovation, and perseverance in achieving success in business. Entrepreneurs can learn from their example by seeking out trusted advisors and mentors, embracing innovation and experimentation, and pursuing their passions with unwavering determination. Chapter 3. The story of Blue Ribbon and Nike highlights the importance of teamwork and collaboration in achieving success. Phil Knight, the founder of Nike, surrounded himself with a team of talented but eccentric individuals who shared his vision and passion for creating innovative shoes. The team's diversity and acceptance of each other's quirks allowed them to work together seamlessly and come up with groundbreaking ideas. Phil's approach to leadership, inspired by General Patton, emphasized the importance of empowering his team and letting them surprise him with their results. Moreover, Phil involved his team in important decisions, such as choosing a name for the new company. This not only made the team feel valued, but it also resulted in the iconic name, Nike, which came to Jeff Johnson in a dream. The story of Blue Ribbon and Nike also teaches us the value of perseverance and taking risks. Phil's belief in his crazy idea led him to pursue his dreams, even when faced with setbacks and challenges. The decision to stop selling Onitsuka shoes and start making their own was a bold move, but it ultimately paid off and led to the success of the Nike brand we know today. Overall, the story of Blue Ribbon and Nike serves as a reminder that success is not achieved alone, 
but rather through the collective efforts of a team that shares a common vision and is empowered to take risks and make key decisions. Chapter 4. The story of Nike and Phil Knight serves as a valuable lesson in perseverance and overcoming obstacles. Even when faced with significant lawsuits that could have destroyed his career, Phil Knight refused to give up. Instead, he used his intelligence and creativity to find ways to fight back and protect his company. The first lawsuit brought by Onitsuka was a result of Blue Ribbon breaching its contract by producing and distributing Nike shoes. However, Phil Knight had an informant who tipped him off about an Onitsuka executive planning to find a new distributor in the US. Armed with this information, Phil shifted his focus to building his new company, Nike. Ultimately, the judge ruled in Blue Ribbon's favor, and Onitsuka was ordered to pay damages. The second lawsuit was a result of Nike's competitors accusing the company of violating the American Selling Price Law. Phil Knight refused to give up without a fight, even though he was facing a potentially crippling $25 million fine. He eventually settled the claim for $9 million as a diplomatic gesture, believing that fighting the government's claim would damage his company's relationship with the government. Overall, the story of Nike and Phil Knight shows that success is not just about having a good idea but also about having the perseverance and determination to overcome obstacles and challenges. Even when faced with significant legal challenges, Phil Knight refused to give up and found creative ways to fight back and protect his company. Chapter 5. Phil Knight's story with Nike teaches us several important lessons about entrepreneurship and business growth. Firstly, Obstacles and challenges are inevitable in any entrepreneurial journey. Success rarely comes without hard work and perseverance, and setbacks will likely occur along the way. As Phil Knight's story illustrates, it takes determination to overcome obstacles and continue on the path to success. Secondly, maintaining a strong company culture can be challenging as a business grows. It's essential to remain true to the values and principles that made the company successful in the first place. In Phil Knight's case, he was hesitant to take Nike public because he feared it would harm the company's unique culture. However, he found a way to design the company's share structure to prevent losing control of the company and its ethical code. This shows that it's possible to maintain a company's core values even as it grows and becomes more successful. Lastly, financing is crucial for any business's growth. Phil Knight invested all profits back into the business, and he relied on banks and eventually Nisho for financing. However, even with outside financing, challenges and obstacles can still arise. In Nike's case, the $25 million lawsuit brought by the government forced Phil Knight to take Nike public with an initial public offering. This shows that there may be times when entrepreneurs have to make difficult decisions regarding financing to ensure their businesses continued growth and success. Chapter 6. Nike's commitment to its values and ethics has been integral to its success as a company. Its willingness to address labor issues and improve working conditions in factories demonstrates its dedication to treating workers fairly and responsibly. Nike's development of a water-based bonding agent for its shoes not only improved factory conditions, but also had a positive impact on the environment by reducing harmful toxins. By sharing this innovation with competitors, Nike demonstrated a willingness to collaborate and contribute to the betterment of the industry as a whole. Additionally, Nike's respect for its sponsored athletes as individuals, rather than just assets for promoting products, highlights the company's focus on building meaningful relationships with those it works with. This approach has led to many strong friendships between athletes and Nike executives, which speaks to the company's genuine care for those it works with. Overall, Nike's commitment to its values and ethics has allowed it to maintain a strong reputation and loyal customer base, even through challenging times. By striving to do what is right, Nike has become a model for how a successful business can also be a responsible and compassionate one. Summary. The book tells the story of Nike's journey from its humble beginnings to becoming a global giant in the athletic footwear industry. The book emphasizes the importance of believing in your ideas, thinking creatively, and staying true to your values. One actionable piece of advice is to surround yourself with believers who share your passion for your business or idea. They will be your most involved and dedicated team members. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, 
Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more great content. Trust me, you won't regret it.